after months of the liberal media ridiculing Trump over his claim that Obama spied on him during the election, Trump finally got vindication this week. America learned the truth on Tuesday that Obama did in fact unconstitutionally spy on Trump throughout the presidential election, leaving Barack Obama with his pants down yet again. Now former intelligence officer Lt. Col. Tony Schaffer just revealed that Obama's wiretapping was not only a federal crime, but says that the results of this investigation will likely result in Obama being brought up on felony charges. The colonel's dire prediction about Obama's future is sending shockwaves through the black hearts of liberals all across America today, as it's now thrown a monkey wrench into Obama's plans to stage his political comeback this fall. In a recent interview with Trending Today USA, Lt. Col. Tony Schaffer called Obamagate an order of magnitude even bigger than the Watergate scandal because the incident included using nation-state resources for purposes of political gain. When asked if Obama could be arrested for violating the law, he said that it would be the underscore first time a former president could be indicted for a felony. Underscore. Dot, I think it is very possible that he acted outside of the scope of his duties, responsibilities and authorities to turn the resources of a nation-state on a candidate. This is, as I've said before, Soviet dictator-level wrongdoing, he added. Schaffer said that Obama using government resources to spy on Trump was for the sole purpose of getting Hillary into office, as Obama hoped the wiretapping would produce enough dirt on Trump to sabotage his presidential run. Given Schaffer's lengthy military career, his rise to the top of the American intelligence community, and his current senior position at the prestigious London Center for Policy Research, his prediction about Obama shouldn't be scoffed at. Being brought up on felony charges would completely destroy Obama's plan of making his political comeback this year, as he'd be trying to figure out a way to keep himself out of prison instead of spending his hours obsessing with ways to bring Trump down. The Hill reported on just how extensive Obama's spying truly was, as this unconstitutional move wasn't just limited to listening in on Trump's calls. They reported, if these reports are accurate, IT means U.S. intelligence agencies secretly surveilled at least a half dozen Trump associates. And those are just the ones we know about. Besides Manafort, the officials include former Trump advisors Carter Page and Michael Flynn. Last week, we discovered multiple Trump transition officials were incidentally captured during government surveillance of a foreign official. We know this because former Obama advisor Susan Rice reportedly admitted unmasking or asking to know the identities of, the officials. Spying on U.S. citizens is considered so sensitive, their names are supposed to be hidden or masked, even inside the government, to protect their privacy. In May, former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper and former Acting Attorney General Sally Yates acknowledged they, too, reviewed communications of political figures, secretly collected under President Obama. After getting away with whatever the hell he wanted over the past eight years and wiping his butt with the Constitution, it looks like Obama's cockiness might just be his undoing. He might have gotten away with his antics in the past, but things are vastly different now that Obama doesn't have all his minions blocking all investigations into his crimes, as was the case when he was president. If this colonel's predication is in fact true, Obama's little plan to keep trolling Trump with his little shadow government from the headquarters of his D.C. home could soon be coming to an abrupt end. How poetic would it be that after spending eight years pandering to terrorists and trying to destroy America that Obama could live out the rest of his life behind bars in an orange jumpsuit? Sounds like perfect justice for America. Share this story if you want to see Obama behind bars for the rest of his treasonous life. H. T. Conservative Tribune